Welcome and welcome back. I briefly had a new hair color during the quarantine and a girl was feeling herself. It's a good thing it was quarantine because the way this hair had me feeling, baby, I would know how to act. Like I was feeling cute or whatever. I'm going to start with a bare face and today we're using the Juvia's Place palette, The Magic. And we're going to start with the transition color Nana. Then in the outer V, we're going to add this hot pink shade Koji and blend it into the crease and outwards towards the transition. This is footage of me looking for the brush that I just had two seconds ago. Just adding a little bit more of the transition color back again. And then on the lid, we are going to use the color Baronu and we're going to create a cut crease with that color. Uh, this time I'm not using a concealer to cut out the crease. Um, this eyeshadow is actually really soft, uh, which is nice because I'm able to create a cut crease with just a small brush uh, to make it nice and sharp uh, without the extra step of adding the concealer. And we're gonna go back with the color Koji. I'm just gonna apply it closer to the lash line. So it has a nice little gradient there. Then we're going to move to the Masquerade palette, also by Juvia's Place, and we're going to use the color Bori uh, or Bori and create a wing liner. We're going to add a little bit of setting spray to a nice, sharp, thin brush. Um, so you can use, well, the brush that I'm using right now, I'm pretty sure it's actually a lip liner brush, <laughs> but it works great for a wing liner. And on my bottom lash line, we're going to add a transition color, Nana. And then closer to the lash line, we're going to use the, bor the color Bori that we use for the wing liner. As an inner corner highlight, we're going to use this light pink color, Oh Sun. So I'm satisfied with this eye, so I'm going to do the other eye and my brows. And now I'm just adding the Estee Lauder Mattifying Primer. And today we're going to use Venti Beauty Soft Matte Pro Filter Foundation in 420. I've become quite a Fenty girl. Like, I don't really touch my other foundations as much. Um, I am going to try to switch it up though. Um, I, I'm not going to lie, I have like one more. I have a few more makeup videos that's gonna be Fenty. However, I will switch it up soon and try some new stuff and let you guys know how that works. Okay, and for concealer, it is da 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 da. Yep, Fenty again. So we're going to apply that just to the areas where we wanna highlight. Blend that out. Then we're just gonna set where we place the concealer with the Dermablend Loose Setting Powder in Cool. And now that we're looking casket ready, I'm gonna add Benefit Hula Bronzer in Toasted just to add some warmth. Put it around the forehead. cheekbones so we're gonna warm up the skin and contour side of the nose add 
add back some dimensions to my nose. And always buff everything out because we don't want any harsh lines. To set everything with Nude by Nature Radiant Powder in Olive. And we're going to add a little bit of blush by Maybelline. As you can see, this is my favorite blush. I've been using this a lot lately. I promise to switch it up in the, in, in the next few videos. <laughs> And then just to highlight, we are going to use Fenty Hustle Baby Highlighter. with the NYX lip liner, uh, the color Nebula. So I probably say this every video, but I love this lipstick. So this is going to be one of my new favorite lipsticks. It's such a nice, pretty pink and it's good for like every day, I feel like. It's just such a pretty color, but it's from Revlon and it's a matte lipstick in the color 14 Shameless. I'm just going to add some mascara and some lashes. set my face with the La Roche-Posay Zero, Zero, Zero Zinc Mist. La Roche-Posay Zero Zinc Mist. Okay, and don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. This one was short and sweet, guys. Um, also, go over to my Instagram and, I don't know, check me out. Thanks for watching.